Hello everyone, it's me from Sunshine here and welcome back to the video. So today, um, I'm in a different part of my room. I know. Um, I normally am in that section. Today though, I'm filming um, a hair tutorial or hair tutorials and I was like, gotta be near a mirror so I can see. Um, I also got new glasses so hope you guys enjoy that got my nails done I have a little bit of an update for you guys so the next week for me is going to be really stressful um so the Monday so this is going up on Friday the Monday and the next Friday um I have a musical going on for my school and I'm not home until 8 30 and I start my my um <clears throat> my shows around 7 30 and I start my show on Thursdays through all the way to Sunday so I'm definitely going to be posting Monday I don't know if I'm going to be posting around Wednesday instead of Friday because it's just going to be really stressful and I'm not going to have time to film but I'm definitely going to try to figure that out but on Monday I'm going to be posting around 10 o'clock I know um I really don't know what I'm going to be doing here um but this is for f tomorrow and then I will have to film this weekend for Monday. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing five quick and easy, ready to go, out the door, um, hair tutorial. Um, I don't have anything really done with my hair except I didn't wash it last night and I straightened it last night as well for school. And I think doing hairstyles are a lot better whenever you don't have freshly washed hair i think it's just better looking um so yeah let's get on with the video all right so the first tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys is how i do my messy buns um i am constantly asked how i do my hair um whenever it's up in a bun and that's like one of my most requested hair tutorial so i'm gonna back this up just a bit sorry um and first thing I do is I make sure I have my ponytails on my wrist. I use about two or three um, ponytails to keep this in. So first thing I do is I go ahead and I grab um, my hairbrush. I use a wet brush for everything because even though my hair's not wet, it comes through. It doesn't get all those knots. It doesn't hurt as much. So I just come through my hair um, real fast. Make sure there's no knots in it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up for you guys so you guys can see my head. So, first thing I do is I flip my head straight over and I just comb through like this to get, again, all the knots out. And then I go ahead and I put my hair up into a ponytail. Make sure there's, like, no bumps or anything in it because this is going to turn into a bun. So, what I do then is after I have it pretty much like smoothed out and ready to go into the ponytail, I keep my head down and then I hold it really tightly and I look up and I see my mirror if there's any like bumps or anything. I'm just going to smooth that out. Obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a messy bun. Um, so I normally take about this much of my hair and I'm going to put in a black, I think, yes, a black ponytail and I am going just to make a very tight, straight up ponytail. So this is pretty much one of the things I could be doing. So here's technically one of these, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my ponytails and I'm going to go like this and wrap it around like so, okay? So it comes, oh, what am I doing here, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna wrap it around like this. So it kinda looks really, really messy. And then I fold it over like this so this part sticks out, push it straight down, take one of my hair bands or whatever you call these ponytails, and pop it in like that. So that's like me covering up just like part of this. And I pretty much like scrunch it out. And that's technically how I do my messy buns. It looks like this. Um, it obviously looks like messy and that's how it's supposed to look. Just looks like I kind of threw it up and I know a lot of people like that. Um, they don't like showing up school with their hair completely done so if this is one of your favorite styles. Um, it normally looks like this. Um, so yes, I have this and now let's go on to the second hair style. Oh my god, sorry. My freaking camera just loves 
to run out of storage. So what I was saying is I go ahead and I comb my hair first things first. Um, I wear this hairstyle a lot for school because it's just really easy. Um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the side right here. So I'm going to take my hands. This looks really good using. Take these two fingers. So my thumb in your... Um, my god, what's this called? Wedding finger? I don't know what it's called. Um, and you're just gonna go like this. So you're gonna take it up here and pinch it together and then take your other hand and pretty much just like make however much of a pony or like half updo ponytail type thing on your head as much hair as you would like it to be in. So I normally take about that much and I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my ponytails and I'm just going to wrap it around. Normally black is like the best for me because I like to have the black ponytail that matches more and just looks more like better with other outfits. So you have this here. This is not obviously the finishing product, just technically is, but like I like to add um dry shampoo because a, it adds 20 times more texture, like, it looks way better, and if you just scrunch up your hair, it gives it this, like, volume, um, and I do plan on this weekend actually getting my hair cut, so I'm trying to get all my, like, favorite things, I'm planning on getting it really, really cut, like, up to here cut, <laughs> and, like, it's gonna look nice, but I normally spray in a ton on of dry shampoo. We have a bit of mentions that it's gonna need to take out those oils and it looks so nice. So two of so this is pretty much the second hairstyle, sorry. Um I love this one. I think it looks just really cute and you look just really like you put yourself together. So going on to the third one is actually a tie-off from this. So it's pretty much putting in a half updo. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna wrap it around really lightly okay so like not quickly or really firmly really gently and I'm gonna see what it looks like so you have like this really little tiny bun so what I like to do is normally just see how much the placement would be and then redo it again so I hold my finger in the middle of it right in the beginning and then I wrap it around like this I like this like this and then I'm gonna take another one of my ponytails and I'm gonna wrap it around right here so it looks like kind of this so it has just like this like little updo that looks very messy and looks like you don't really have to spend a lot of time on it and then what you're gonna do is take one of your third ponytails to kind of clean it up and sharpen it to make it look a bit neater which looks like this so this makes it stronger and firmer and it just looks like a cute little updo. Um, I don't really wear a lot of the top knots a lot to school because I don't really like how my hair looks whenever I have it in sometimes. But this is being a bit stubborn today, but stubborn, stubborn today. But this is one of my favorites for other people who I see have like the same kind of hair color as me. It looks really cute on Emma whenever she wears this um, or whenever I put it in her hair purposely because I love to see her wear it. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the third one. Um, sorry, I'm taking my hair out halfway through. Are you showing you guys what the third one is? But I'm just going to go straight on to the fourth one. <laughs> Alright, so fourth, fourth hairstyle is pretty much just a messy or high ponytail. Um, this is one that I do practically every other day on the day-to-day -day basis so let me back you guys up just a bit more and time to flip our head over i don't comb this part because you'll see why halfway through so what i do is i flip my head straight over comb it through with my fingers again to make it not as naughty and then what i'm gonna do can you guys see this i feel like you can't so i have really short hair so this means that sometimes i have to put in bobby pins so I flip my head over and I normally try to lay out how much hair is still left if I were to put it up about this high so what I do here is I make a real high ponytail all right so we have about this much of my hair um 
practically put up. And I'm just going to go over three times with one singular ponytail, okay? Just one right now. So, make it look like that. It looks real fresh, real clean. And then I'm going to take a second ponytail and I'm just going to wrap it around it again because this makes it really, really firm and looks really nice and keeps it not from moving at all. So if like, you have gym class and you want to do this, do it because this is what it looks like whenever you do it. So um, this is practically what my ponytails look like every day. Um, so I make sure there's no sides that are all messed up. Um, and this is what a high ponytail looks like on me. If I do have little fallouts at the bottom with my baby hairs, because my hair is so short, I would just take a bobby pin, flip my head over, and then bobby pin in a few of the things that I would need to keep my hair up. So, lastly, is a ponytail braid. Now, I did this a lot last year, and I haven't really done it for a while. Um, I do it sometimes during the summer. But what you're going to do is you're going to do a quick and easy braid. So you're going to separate your hair into three parts. And if you are someone who really doesn't know how to braid, do not look in the mirror. <laughs> it makes it a lot more confusing. Um, I can practically do this like without looking in the mirror. So split your hair into three parts, and you're going to do a basic braid. So first thing you're going to do is just put one over the other, the other one over the other, and you're legit just braiding your hair straight down. Um, it can look messy, it can look really really neat and sleek, it can look very, um, like however you legit want it pretty much. Um, I normally like to make it go about halfway down here so it looks something like this because you don't want to be too tight where you have like uneven hair strings so you get about right down to here and I'm just going to take this and just tie it off with a little tiny ponytail and wrap it around as many times as needed to finally get the final product, which is this little hair braid. Final time that my freaking battery, I mean my memory card is gonna run out of space. So I normally just do this. It can look cleaner, it can look messier. Um, but I did say I tied off a little bit, but if you don't like that, it pretty much just looks like this if it's not tied off to the back of your head. So guys, yeah, I know this was a very like, quick video um but i want to say thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like if you guys aren't in my day don't subscribe for the other my vlogs and much more tutorials if you guys end up wearing any of these hairstyles please tweet me a picture and it could be 701 or um anything like that and tell me you did it and i will be very happy so thank you guys all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah.